Hello everybody, my name is Agent M and welcome to the third episode on MCEE or Minecraft Education Edition and today I'm going to show you a few more version specific things like backing up worlds, sharing it and setting fixed inventory slots and such things and you know reviewing your portfolio. So first off we're gonna go into the command menu again with slash and we're gonna look at these commands set fixed inf slots and set fixed inf slot so first uh, command you want to do is set fixed in slots with an s at the end and you want to set the number to either one two or three I'm gonna put it to three that's the maximum and what this will do if you go out of this is as you can see here if I go out of the menu three extra slots that I cannot put items in because they're, they're just not there and they will also not be picked up in there these are just fixed inventory slots you can't change them and so you can always access these items as a student we have um, one two nine um, as here so you can just uh, press the keys to select one of those and the last three is not zero minus plus or zero minus equals you know those on your keyboard you press zero uh, an amount of times to scroll through that that's not really very intuitive but I guess it's a thing so it just only takes up one extra key on the keyboard now of course you can scroll to that too so how do we use these inventory slots if we can't put anything in there? Well, our dear teacher can use this command, set inventory slot without an S, and you select the slot number, so one, two, or three. Well, first slot we're gonna fill with, and then there's a whole list of items. We're gonna give our students their portfolio. So there you go, portfolio, you type it out, or you autocomplete it, and you're gonna give it no extra data, it's just going to be a normal portfolio, just hit enter and the first inventory slot has a portfolio alright, yeah this is like um, a very unstable version so it crashed, well let me log back in and I'll see you back alright we're back and as you can see uh, our portfolio is in our slot um, so yeah, uh, my game crashed. I don't know what that is, but it's an early, you know, access. So I guess it's a little bit buggy. But we can remove this from our inventory slot by set fixed in slot. If you want to remove it? You gotta set it to zero, and I guess back to three, and it's gone. Yeah. All right. So that's the only way to clear inventory slots as of now, I guess. All right. So what are these useful for? Now, well, I already said these cannot be cleared out. So we're just going to put a portfolio in there. Hopefully it doesn't crack. All right, nice, nice, you have a portfolio. And so we want to put in our second slot, an empty map. Or, now well, let's do a camera in the second slot. Camera, boom. And in the third slot, we put the empty map. All right. This is not entirely necessary because the empty map, you have to right click to actually make it into a map. We cannot give a map to a player, unfortunately. Um, that would be useful, but I guess it has to be like that. So, portfolios. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to use the portfolio. It's now empty, there's nothing in it. we got to use the camera. Um, as a student, you can just use a camera by placing it down somewhere, anywhere you want. And you can make pictures if you want to get rid of a camera. And you can just destroy the cameras. You can kill the cameras. You can just punch twice or hit it with a diamond sword immediately. I don't know how much health it has. It doesn't really matter. Um, so we have a little build, alright? We want to show this off to our teachers. So we got our beautiful building. All right, we want to make a quick photo of ourselves using that. So you right click on the camera, you stand into your house, and cheese. 
there you go and if you select an item that item will be found in your camera so let's put another camera down and hold this in our hands and stand back a little bit and there you go you can see a little preview and in your portfolio you can review I don't like this picture really so I'm just gonna delete it and you can put a caption right here so me and my first house for um, for, you, for um, myself uh, yeah that's that's how much space there is I um, should make some more photos maybe me and this chicken why not oops wrong button right click and oh uh, that's pretty cute yeah look at that and I was holding a camera so it's not perfect but whatever let's let's make one more photo with a little cow friend yeah yeah all right so now our portfolio is folded with things and the latest images on the front and the earliest images at the back so keep that in mind so you have this little picture with that and we're gonna export it again and say like my portfolio 2 and as you can see our second portfolio is in here let's open it and boom we get four items this time because we had four photos to export this world you can just click here export it as my classroom MC world boom and it's saved what it did is it just took this world and it zipped it into a my classroom dot MC world and so you cannot open this really you can just unzip it by double clicking and you can see it's pretty identical that level name my classroom it's still the same world and as you can see it also saves the images from your portfolio so I think it's per world not entirely sure but I think it is so you can export worlds by doing that and let's import worlds all right so we're gonna import a world and we're gonna go to downloads and there's my classroom.mc world we can open it and there we go we have two copies right now for some reason one is 1.1 megabytes and the other is 5.8 but as soon as we open it we should see that our world here has this beautiful little stone structure it has an egg on the ground there and it is this beautiful board with all my text and as you can see that is exactly the same as our original world which was 5.8 megabytes for some reason and let's look around all right the egg is not there yet because I think that might have to do with when I saved it when I exported it but as you can see the rest is exactly the same yeah so that's how exporting and importing works uh, I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something and in the next episode whenever I'm gonna make the next episode I don't have a schedule I am going over the last few things that I want to discuss like probably more command explanation and trying to run um, a classroom trying to set up a I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna set up a dummy classroom as to show you how it could work out and how it could look like I might invite other people if I can probably not <laughs> um, yeah so that's it for this video i hope you uh, enjoyed it and i'll see you next time thanks for watching bye